Shivalini TV News from the campus Hello everyone welcome to Shivalini TV where we get you the latest news bulletin from Shivalini University I am Priya Singh and these are the news headlines an upgraded version of e-learning platform introduced an accomplished actress gulpanag vows shunyans diplomat vishnu prakash gives tips on tracking civil services counseling helpline introduced for students and now mansi will tell us about upgraded e-learning platform With the unrivaled culture of excellence and innovation, Shulini University is all set to introduce an upgraded version of its own e-learning platform from the coming academic session. Here's a look at how it evolved since it was launched by former president Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam in 2013. Back in April 2013, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam inaugurated e-unit, our e-learning initiative. way before most other universities had even begun thinking digital so when covid-19 disrupted the regular classes we were ready with the digital tools and systems to deliver a high quality classroom experience online we started our online classes on eunit just a week after the lockdown and completed our semester with online proctored examinations eunit runs on our robust seamless learning management system learners Learnings is powered by AI with interactive video lectures, adaptive learning and analytics. Our AI technology Sikandar has been shortlisted for the Times Higher Education Asia Awards 2020 for outstanding student support and the QS iGorge Elite Certification of Excellence in Online Learning. We chose the path less traveled in 2013. In 2020, we will continue to be the trailblazers. The technology has been developed by us, a technological platform which is associated with Shulini University. Director e-learning Shulini University Dr. Ashok Khosla gives more insights into the upgraded system which would make use of artificial intelligence and enable more interactive learning. Even as the last semester ended and the students and teachers were enjoying a well-deserved break from the academic rigor, a team which had been working very hard behind the scenes to make online teaching possible during the semester were doubling up their efforts this is because our eunif team and our tech partners are were giving final touches to a new and upgraded eunif platform powered by learnings.com which is ai driven we now have a learning platform which is at par with the best in the world It is a single end-to-end -end system which has features like AI-driven attendance and student analytics, real-time quizzes which can be taken in class and are linked directly to your grades, gamification, and proctored exams. In addition to this, all our teachers now have been fully trained with the new features like interactive videos and quizzes. I sincerely hope that all of us. will have a great semester in terms of online teaching and learning thanks mansi and now ashutosh has the details of a tie up with the uk board chulini university has signed an mou with college boards india global higher education alliance to open up international opportunities for students of the university Vice Chancellor Professor P K Kosla who signed the MOU said that the agreement would prove a significant milestone and would open up exciting opportunities for students of the university. The alliance is a group of about 40 respected Indian universities that are working to make it easier for all qualified Indian students regardless of income, geography or social class to apply to and enroll in Indian universities and get a world class education. Thanks Ashutosh And now Yashoda would share the details on interaction with the well-known Gulpanak. An accomplished actor, former Miss India and environmentalist Gulpanak 
impressed Shulinians with her amazing wit and clarity during a webinar. She talked about importance of discipline in whatever one does. I think we all are capable, but for efficiency in, in the work stream, we've sort of chosen uh, specific roles, but I think we all can do everything. So I don't think it's, it's, a, it's anything unique to me. Uh, what it does take is a compartmentalization and, uh, and a bit of discipline. And that is something we can speak a little bit more about as we go on in this session. Answering the question on nepotism in Bollywood and other spheres of life, she said, uh, Let me widen the scope of that question firstly. Where your parents have been, you are going to have a natural advantage. Let me put it this way. Oh, had I yeah. chosen to join the army, I would have had a lot of benefactors. Simply because there were people who either looked up to my father or owed my father or uh, just want to oblige him because it's the way the human psychology operates. You are good to the children of people you've served with, worked with. Now coming back to Bollywood, uh, if your father or mother is in the business, you're going to have an advantage. You've grown up with people who, who and your parents have sort of not served, but worked with, worked together. So you're going to definitely have an advantage. John F. Kennedy appointed his brother as the attorney general. I mean, there is no more, I mean, a capable man. So it exists everywhere. But there comes a time when you need to prove your mettle. And that is where nepotism will fail if the person doesn't have capability. So from the legal profession to the film profession, to the media profession, to the publishing profession, to uh, the armed forces, wherever your parents have served or worked, you are going to have it easier than somebody who is new to the profession or who is an outsider. And you've got to accept that. There's no two ways about it. Now, whether those people are favored, I mean, we need to look back and, you know, uh, ask ourselves whether you do it consciously or subconsciously. Very often it's happening subconsciously. So to answer the question, yes, it does exist like it exists in every other profession. You have, you know, you have people, you have, uh, look, at, look at politics. How many second generation politicians do we have even in the present party that came with this whole anti-dynasty space? Thanks, Yashoda. And now Ankita would give us details on webinar with former diplomat Vishnu Prakash. Diplomat Vishnu Prakash, a former Indian envoy to Canada and South Korea, who also serves as the spokesman of Ministry of External Affairs, interacted with the audience in the webinar organized by Shulini University. While giving the tips to the students, he explained how Indian Foreign Service was different from IPS and IAS. Uh, some other services and my colleagues may agree is that we have very little political in interference. Uh, we are by and large our own cadre controlling authority and by and large we are a meritocracy. You rise or do not according to merit and uh, a lot of functional freedom. You do meet the creme de la creme and you work hard and you see uh, history being crafted from close quarters. So the diplomat said that the success of the country depends on the innovation and for that one needs to have the confidence, spirit of inquiry and needs to celebrate failures. The success of a country will depend on three factors. First is innovation, second is innovation and third is innovation. And for that you have to have the confidence, you have, have to have a spirit of inquiry and you have to celebrate failure. Thanks, Ankita. And now, Maninda would tell us about the university's new step towards psychological health of students. These are tough times. Students and others have been forced to stay indoors since the lockdown. To deal with the issue arising from this situation, Shirani University has started a counseling helpline. You may reach out to the senior faculty members who have been appointed counsellors. Their contact numbers are given on the screen. Needless to say, the conversation would remain totally confidential. Thanks, Melinda. And now, from our talent challenge, we would like to present a video by Shubhi, who has just taken admission in MSc Biotech.
Good morning everyone. Firstly and foremost, I would like to present my humble gratitude to my teachers to be and to the new people. How are you guys? I hope you're doing well, taking care of yourselves, staying safe and in good health. My name is Shilpi Bodhiyal. My name is Shilpi Bodhiyal and I belong to Dehradun Uttarakhand. I completed my high school and senior high school from Dune International School, Dehradun itself and uh, did my graduation from Swami Rama Himalayan University in Uttarakhand itself and now I am approaching Shulini for my MSc in Biotechnology Research. Okay, so this is hashtag tasks number one, task number one task number one it was amazing wasn't it and if you would like to showcase your talent on shulini tv mail it to this id or send it to this whatsapp number and now rg akanksha will update us about upcoming shows on radio shulini these are the shows on radio shulini at this week parent special by rg anushka Queen of Bollywood, Kangana Ranaut Special by R.J. Rachit, Dil Ki Baate by R.J. Purvi, Raksha Bandhan Special by R.J. Akansha, Chit Chat Show with R.J. Dheeraj. That's it for this week's News Bulletin. We shall be back by next Friday. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy.